Hey, hi everybody, my name is Flask and I'm a volunteer with the Girl Scouts of the Green and White Mountains serving Girl Scouts in Vermont and New Hampshire. Today we're going to go letterboxing. This is an activity that's been going on for over a hundred years. The basic form of letterboxing is where someone hides a container that has a stamp and a book in it. Sometimes to find a letterbox you need to solve a complicated puzzle or work through some difficult hints. Uh, but sometimes they tell you right where they are and where to look. And for this video today, I've chosen an easy one. So today's box that I've chosen is one called Hippie Van. And it's by somebody named Flat Tire. <laughs> um, and the directions say find the Newton H. Baker Mini Park on Stowe Street in Waterbury, Vermont. And then there are more directions about how to find the park, but I already know where this park is, so I just got in my car and I came here. So here's how we know we're in the right place. We're at the Newton H. Baker Mini Park. And let's see what the clue says now. It says, walk downstream a bit along Stowe Street, until you see a guardrail. So there's the stream and it goes that way. So we're just gonna walk down along the stream. Can you see a guardrail up there? So the clue says, walk along until you see a guardrail, check it out. So let's go over to that guardrail and check it out. So here we are, we're next to the guardrail, coming right up into it. And I don't know if you guys spend a lot of time with guardrails, but in the ends of them, they usually have these spaces. So let me see if I can get you in here to look. I don't see anything in there, but in there, look at that. So I'm going to get that out and it's dusty because that's how things are in guardrails. We're going to take this back away from the guardrail because um, you don't want to attract too much attention to a hiding place. So I always take my letterboxes off to a separate location to do my letterboxy things. So here's a nice flat concrete pad in the shade. So I think we're going to set up here. Okay, so let's look at what's inside this thing. It's, uh, it's a Ziploc bag that's been duct taped to make it camouflaged and durable. And inside is another Ziploc bag and it has the boxes notebook and it has the boxes stamp and the hider of this box uh, has hand carved this stamp which is the traditional way to do it. So always when I come to a, a box I like to look at what the stamps are that people are using because some of them are quite good like oh look at that beautiful little cupcake Green Mountain Hiker now this isn't a handmade stamp but that's one that somebody ordered and you can do it that way and boy that's very detailed if it's handmade it might be at that. So those are some of the stamps that people left in the book. So now what I have to do is find an empty page and I'm going to get out my flask stamp. I brought two stamps with me today. I brought my full-size flask stamp There's my full-size flask stamp.
And I brought a little mini stamp that I carved out of the eraser of a pencil. And I'll show both of those to you, but... So then this is the, this is the fun art part. I rub my stamp on my ink pad, making sure that I get ink on the whole stamp. And sometimes on my fingers, because I'm kind of a messy person. All right, I have ink all over my stamp so I can make a good impression. And I'm just gonna press it down onto the book. And then I'm going to wrap it up so I don't get ink everywhere. And that's what my stamp looks like. And that proves that I've been to this box. And now I'm going to ink up the pencil. Just to show you the little stamp. It's a little flower! And then before I put everything away, I'll take out my book where I collect stamps of letterboxes I've been to. And I'm going to ink up the stamp from this box. Make sure I get ink all over it. And then I'll take it and press it in my book. Whoa! That was such a cool stamp! That is such a cool stamp. And then later on, because um, I forgot a pen, uh, later on I'll take a, a pen or a pencil and I'll label this with the name of this box and the place where it's located and the day that I found it. I'll show you some, here's some other stamps that I've made. These are three stamps from letter boxes that are at Camp Twin Hills. And they're hidden somewhere on the property at Camp Twin Hills. And if you want to collect those stamps, you have to go there. And here are the stamps of my Girl Scout troop from when they were doing their letterboxing badge. Here's the stamp from Little River State Park. So it's a memory book that you can collect that has in all the stamps that you visited. So then before I'm done, I have to wrap up the stamp. This helps keep everything nice and neat to put it in paper towel. So I'll wrap up the guy's stamp the way he had it. I'll put my stamp back in my stamps bag. I'll put my stamp pad back in my stamp pad bag. And I'll put that and my book back in my bag. And then I'll take the book from this hider. And I'll put that in the Ziploc. And I'll put the stamp back in the Ziploc. And I'll be careful to seal the Ziploc so it doesn't get wet. And wrap it up. And I'll put it back in the outside Ziploc and seal that and fold it over and then we go put it back the way we found it. But flask, you might be asking, what if I don't have a stamp? What if I don't have a book? Can I still go letterboxing? Yes, my friend, you can. If you don't have a stamp, you can still find letterboxes just fine. You can't 
put your stamp in the book, but some people do put a little drawing in the book to say that they were there, or they just sign their names. The important rules are that you don't take up too much space in the book and that you put the container back just how you found it so that the next person can find it in good condition too. So that's a letterbox. I hope you've had fun watching. I hope you go out and find a letterbox. And I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.